Alright, this whole time we've been trying, like, plans and tactics and nonsense. This time we're gonna play to our strong suit, we're doing this our way. Let's try... stupidity. I mean, I know that whenever I'm trying to get through to somebody, the first thing that I do, after I've been told to fuck off, is to just break into their house and, like, demand to talk to them again. So I'm sure this is gonna go swimmingly. I feel like if you did it right, you could, like, you know, just kind of awe them a bit. Aren't you soggy? I guess that business about the quaster taking you in was true. What are you doing here? We're here to try violence. Let us through. Afraid I can't do that. Master Hughes gave us orders not to let anyone through. So scram. Like this is urgent. Did you not did you not hear us? We're trying violence. Or we just run past them, okay, well whatever. Oh don't worry, the violence is coming. I believe it. Soggy. Those knaves are on our tail. Might I suggest stopping them before they chase us into more trouble? Can't argue with that. Let's put them out of commission. But like, now, now you're gonna fight? You couldn't have just fought outside? Like, even our stupid plan is stupid. This is very impressive. Now, you don't want to fight outside. That's going to get, you know, that's going to get the attention of the neighbors. And I mean, you know they're a gossipy bunch. Like, does anybody give a shit? I feel like it's still better than fighting inside, where we're, like, getting the same amount of stuff done, only instead of alerting the neighbors, we're alerting, you know, the security. I know this game is selective about when people notice fights, but like, it's, it's, hmm. May my blade be sharp. I don't know. It's no less stupid than any of the things that happened when we were trying clever plans. So well, what do I know? Anyway, I guess we can talk about these guys. They they have exactly one thing up their sleeve. It's. I want to say it's called Slumber Shot, and it does exactly what it sounds like. Knockout rounds. They're a thing. Even in fantasy settings. But yeah, I mean, I would, I would expect soldiers like this to be kind of boring. Yeah, see? Reinforcements. We've made, made too much noise. Shall we fight, Sagi? Like, yes! This, this is why we came in here for. Why are you asking now? Hey! Are you planning on fighting every last man in the building? Um, yes? This behaving has its limits. Like, what did Come you think on, we were gonna hide. do? Weren't you all in favor of this plan? Like, oh, misbehaving has its limits. You were like, oh yeah, let's go misbehave, and now you're all like, oh, misbehaving has its limits. Fuck you. The centuries. I can't believe we here? found Billy's limit for violence. It was much closer than we anticipated. But who could possibly take out a dark service? Hmm. Carry them up to the rooms. I'll go tell Master Giacomo. See, Giacomo, now there's a man who appreciates some violence. See, if we'd fought those guys, we could have, like, kept the whole thing on lockdown. Like, nobody, we, we can't, we would have let them, we would have not let them deliver the message. It's basically how, how you do stealth in, like, it's, it's like, it's like the Batman approach to stealth. You take out one guy, and then another guy comes over to investigate, and then you take out the guy who came over to investigate. And then, like, just progressively more people keep coming over to investigate the mysterious growing pile of corpses. It's a perfect plan. And it was right there, we could have just done that. So this is the, uh, the big puzzle of this dungeon, is that until we find some way to conceal ourselves, we will not be able to get through the security system. 
Right, the stone statues are, like, completely effective at stopping intruders, unlike, you know, the literal dark servicemen with their, like, guns and the ability to shoot. I mean, this is a JRPG, you know how guns work. I mean, they, they can also do other, but like, it's just the statues. The statues are the thing that stops us. Like, man, yeah, JRPGs. That guy is really clever. That guy is the best sentry in, like, the entire Dark Service. My favorite NPC in every JRPG is like the when any time you're in a, a, a whole establishment owned by bad guys and there's just like service workers there who just fucking hate them. Those guys are always great. That's uh, that's what we got going on. Just fuck these Empire guys. Can I go back to cooking now? Every time it happens, and it does happen every time. Soggy, if your kitchen is full of smoke, you may want to get that looked at. Yeah, that's not. That's 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 a that's a problem. Unless you have like a, a purpose-built smoking room. That's the kind of thing I wouldn't put past the Empire to have. But like, yeah, it's just, I, I don't know. But sure, whatever, I guess this is our plan. We need to, we need to synthesize the fundamental essence of smoke. Sure, what, what the fuck ever. I am once again completely checked out of the, the flow of logic here. So, our new plan is to tear out the hearth so that we can jump down a level to talk to the service guy who has some billow smoke. Everyone's just like, eh. Guy falling out the roof doesn't even register anymore. This fucking house, I tell you. I am so fucking sick of my job. What, we don't want to trade? Why would we want to trade any of our perfect cards, Fiddle? I mean, like, if if JRPGs have taught me everything, it's that the rando hanging around always has a slightly more perfect thing. I, I, I don't really care for the trading in this game. It's so fucking weird and random. I mean, it's not random, but, like... I mean, like, at the very least, I'd expect there to be some kind of bullshit game-long trading quest that requires you to trade with literally everybody. Okay, sure, yep, right. Well, you understand, this door was locked. There was simply no other way to get in other than climbing the ivy across from the other room. Yep, we definitely couldn't just take these guys. I know, we got this, there's multiple levels of, of stealth and sneaking and, and like climbing around to get a big box full of slightly smoky wood. We can just burn whatever, it'll make tons of smoke, everything makes smoke. You have to go to effort to get wood that doesn't make smoke. That's the whole point of firewood. Like, man... I'm getting real low-key angry about this. So, like... We basically just smoked out the whole house. It's just what's what's going on here. Yeah, um, and in fact, 
The, uh, the guy in the kitchen said that they use this to fumigate, so... You know. Yeah. Yeah, sure, we'll just run right through that, no big deal. Very normal. Definitely won't cause alarm and will help us in our stealth. Him again? Like, you, you are surprised by this? Like, I know we're deliberately trying a stupid plan, but like, come on. Like, we, we literally saw him outside, like, two videos ago. That was, that was literally why we went to Sebel Rye in the first place. my career was finished, I look over at the stairs, <laughs> and it's you! Are you obsessed? A koa monkey in heat wouldn't be this clingy. Say what you will, but you're my ticket back to the Empire, Sagi. And every good ticket has to get punched. That's a good one. I should write that one down. Can we get, like, the, the fundamental essence of a sick burn? So it's your boy, round three. He's got friends this time. Didn't that happen in round three in the last game? It was like we had friends this time, or was that some other guy that we fought a bunch of times? No, that sounds right. This must be where we got the idea. So Shakamo round three comes with two service uh, sword masters. They uh they do quite a bit of damage, and they have I think these guys have stun grenades, which will knock you down. Yeah, that sounds like a bad time. And uh, other than that, Giacomo himself will now toss out defense buffs, which is uh, eh, not a great time. It's not a huge increase, but, you know, these sorts of fights do tend to, you know, devolve into damage races, and the longer that goes, the longer you get beat on by his friends, so... Sounds like a, at least a fun inversion of the, the usual boss battle and look vibe. Because, like, normally the, their deal is that the, 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 the guys are support for the boss, and the boss, like, beats on you, and you take out the guys to stop the support. But, like, here it's like the guys are beating on you, and he's supporting them. Like, that that's inspirational. That's just, that's true leadership. That's a real boss right there. I mean, that doesn't mean that Giacomo can't fuck your day up. He did just literally one-shot Gilo from full health. Oh, quite. Yeah, by by all means, they can, like, they can dish it out themselves. It's just, like, he's he's here to support to support his troops. Like, it's, it's inspirational. Just quality leadership. Once again, I must give a nod to the soundtrack. I would, uh, really like for the game to give me a revival item right now. You know, for no particular reason. Seems like it could be handy. May my blade be sharp. Yeah. Yeah. Thunder. Thrash and Gale Redux. Shame on me. Oops! Millie was about to use my revival item. Yikes. Yeah, this seems suboptimal. Yeah, you will not be surprised to learn that this does not go well. Get some insight into the into the bad takes. I like how they they took this this like this like offbeat Sakuraba banger and they they put some like Sonic Adventure 2 Rouge the Bat level vocals into it. And it works. I can respect it. Hell, maybe that was a deliberate nod as well. Maybe they were just like, yeah, we, we played Sonic Adventure 2 when it came out, and we had like this kind of music on certain levels, and we're like, whatever, we'll use that. Like, that's highly implausible. There could be a million and one reasons why they decided to go with this kind of thing, but like, I'm going to... You can't stop my headcanon. Yeah. 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 
Anyway, uh, we're we're about to send Giacomo to the to the Shadow Realm for the full party relay combo. Well deserved. I mean, given what an exceptional leader he clearly is, it's only fitting that it would take full teamwork to defeat him. We got like literally like 1700 TP on just that last combo. Sometimes the heart of the cards serves you well. I lost again. Is it because you're a spiriter? It can't be. Power. I want power. All right, Over all right. Dial it back there a little bit, Yuri. Any man. I'd give everything I have for that. Why does he push himself like that? I feel a little bad for him now. Do you, Soggy? Do you really? Yeah. He drives himself over the edge just to find some kind of purpose. You know, maybe I don't feel bad. Maybe I envy him. Man knows what he wants, okay? Soggy. This, this isn't, isn't what, what we're, we're here for. Ready yeah, to stick to the plan, man. We're here to be stupid. Although, you know, we did come in with the explicit intent of doing a bunch of violence, and, you know, I feel like we've delivered. I say mission successful. How did you get in? What happened to the guards? What is Giacomo doing? Funnily enough, those questions all have the same answer. We're not going to eat you. Master Adolfo, let's start over. My name is Soggy. I'm here on Quaster Varus's business. Quaster? Prove it. You can speak with him yourself using this communicator. Give me that. File this also under things that we probably could have tried before. You must be soggy. The quester told me about the situation. I apologize for being so rude. You don't have to apologize. Just tell us why you're helping the Empire with Promachination. I think you're getting ahead of yourself. I have no intention of helping them. Like, we, we've been over this. What He's here mean? for the paycheck. All I want is their gold. I plan to milk the Empire for as much money as I can. What a noble thing to say. Yeah, I know it sounds selfish. Didn't you say you're from the Empire? Tell me what you think of Sadal Su. Great choice of options. Uh, you know, it's it's got a certain charm to it. Our cheap products are pows and mountain apples. Not exactly the land of the future, my friend. We've got a lot of catching up to do, and you know it. What's worse, we don't even have a leader. Someone's got to stand up and show people here the road to a better life. Good speech. That, that must be, be why you left at the idea of pro machination. You've got it backwards. I'm trying to take leadership before some other nation dumps their ideas on us. Oh, is that what I we're calling it? I the part, but I was born and raised in Sadal Su. Not about to hand it over to the Empire. Yeah, you're a model of independence. Once they fatten my wallet, they can pack up their prognostication and haul it on out of here. Do you believe any of this? You know, I appreciate that immediately after that the game's like, so did you believe a word this guy just said? Yeah. And the correct answer is no. Master Rodolfo, I still don't know if we can trust you. You don't have to trust me. After all, it's just as true that I want the Lordship so I can pamper myself silly. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
He's got the right of it. The mercenary attitude makes him predictable. Very disappointing, Rodolfo. I thought you were more clever than that. I mean, my man, he literally told you that he wanted money to do your bidding. Like, what What do you want here? If it isn't Master Hughes, if you heard all that, I guess there's no talking my way out of it. Here's how it is. I'm not letting you take her with Sadal Sue. This is my land to defend. How all you want, but you're not leader material. Power corrupts people like you. What? If you're done with the pretenses, and so am I. Pro Machination's ready to go, with or without your approval. Sagi, come to Nunki Valley. I know you won't want to miss this. Oh, how nice! Hughes invited us to a show! Everybody here is so reliable and trustworthy. I mean, I can't think of anything that I would rather do right now than to drop everything and go see whatever it is that Hughes has going on in Nunki Valley. It seems like it would be pretty on brand for us to do that. There's just, just like the brand alone is going to sell it as an objective. Like, remember when we decided to clear our heads by doing the thing that we were, like, supposed to be doing and thinking about? Right, well, uh, I'm sure you will be shocked to learn that we have a couple upcoming boss fights. So let's, uh, you know, let's just take a second, go turn in some stuff, and, uh... Do a little equipment upgrade before we head on down to the valley. We pay attention to the vibes. We know how it works. Like, while I, while I do like video games being clear and explicit about stuff, like they are these days, like, hey, you, you, you do, do this quest, like, hey, there's a thing here, hey, we're gonna put up a, 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 a dialogue box that literally says this is a point of no return etc etc that kind of stuff but at the same time like i can always appreciate it when a game has its vibes under control well enough that it can just like telegraph to you that like hey there's a boss fight coming without like ever actually having to drop character and say it it just like does it not least because then you get, you know, some people you know, might actually not notice it, or you can notice it, and you can be like, wow, I'm so in tune with the vibes, and I noticed it. That stuff feels good. That's like, that's like video games. The Duck Prince's Super Snuggly Bed. Anyway, this is all normal. I feel like I missed a step here. What? Okay. Sure. What? Whatever. What? What was? What was I just saying about vibes? 